All right, so we're doing kind of a scientific test today um, using my Matthews VXR and two uh, Tacticams. We're testing settings. You can see they are exactly in the same spot on the bow. Um, I've gone in and adjusted the settings. We're going to be shooting at a uh, target that is 30 yards away. Um, and what we're looking at is how does video resolution affect lighting and slow motion? So uh, sunset is 819. So at 819, I'm gonna start shooting. Both Tacticams will be recording. Uh, one, for example, the first one we're gonna do is 4K settings. So the first Tacticam will be at 4K at 15 frames a second and the other tactic will be 4k at 30 frames a second so we can put them side by side and see if there's a big difference right at sunset and then hopefully i'll get some um, 30 minutes past sunset which is the last legal shooting light uh, also we're going to test um, full hd 120 frames a second and full hd 60 frames a second and we're going to test uh, 240 i think 240 and then 240 half zoom so Right at 8.19, and we'll start shooting. All right, it's uh, 8.18, fixing to be uh, 8.19 by the time I get the bow and get uh, get back here to my spot. You can see we're under a tree. It's a normal summer night, uh, not anything special, not stormy um, or anything like that. So we'll see what the results are. All right, so first thing, ignore the quality of the pictures because for me to put them side by side, it distorted them some. Um, you can see the 30 frames a second looks good, 15 looks fine too. The 30 frames a second 4K gives you a little more slow motion ability. Um, either one of these though I think would work fine right at sunset. All right, so the Full HD 120 and Full HD 60. The Full HD 60 might be just a shade lighter, um, but the Full HD 120 still looks great and it's gonna give you a little better slow motion. Uh, so at sunset, you might still go with the Full HD 120. And these are being shot at the exact same time. The camera, uh, just the way I lined them up uh, when I split them are not going, the arrow is not being shot at the exact same time, but they're two cameras mounted on one bow shooting one arrow at the exact same time. So the, what you're seeing is that all one thing, it's just two cameras. All right, HC240 frames per second gives you a better slow motion. You can actually see the arrow flying through the air really good, but it's considerably darker. Uh, and I've got half zoom and full zoom. I think half zoom might give you a little more stability. It doesn't seem as shaky when the arrow leaves uh, the bow. So this is the best of the three at sunset. The best 4K video is 30 frames a second. The best full HD was 120 frames a second. And the best HD 240 full zoom. Uh, you can see it gets darker the more frames per second you get. 4K at 30 frames a second, the exact same time, maybe 30 seconds earlier, or you know, 240 was 30 seconds later, but 4K is way brighter. All right, so it's 8.40. You technically would have uh, 10 more minutes of hunting light if you were, if it wasn't in July, it was actually hunting season, but it is way darker. Um, so I'm gonna go through these settings again at right at the last shooting light with 10 minutes left, um, kind of see what they look like in extremely low light. All right, 4K comparison right at the last 10 minutes of legal shooting light. Uh, 15 frames a second may be just a shade lighter. Uh, 30 frames a second still going to give you your, your better slow motion. Alright, 
as you can see when you go to full HD and you up the frame per second to 60 or 120 you can't even make out the deer anymore um, so at, at last shooting light you probably wouldn't want to use full HD uh, 60 or 120 frames a second you're not going to be able to see much from what you shoot as you can see with 240 frames a second it's obviously pitch black you can't see anything this was shot at the exact same time within 30 seconds of the 4k shootings so it's not really any darker outside it just looks it so when comparing last light last legal shooting light 4k at 15 frames per second is much better all right it's just shot the last two arrows um, it's actually really hard to shoot that second shot with that first knock there the, the brightness of that knock kind of blurs your pins um, so the first shot seems to be a little better shot uh, that's the pattern I've seen but uh, all right so I'm gonna test now in the middle of the day uh, shooting 30 yards again we're gonna see what setting is the best for well lit maybe on the field edge I'm not under the trees like I was earlier uh, we'll see what we get all right again ignore the quality because when I stretch these and try to get all three on one screen it distorts them. Um, they don't look as crisp um, daytime shooting 4k at 30 frames a second was the crispest obviously um, you could see more slow motion with the 240 120 was great too in the daytime whatever floats your boat they're all really good 4k at 30 was the best overall All right, so here's what my setup's gonna be based off the information I've collected from this test. My main camera on my stabilizer. In the daytime, I'm running 4K at 30 frames a second. I think it's the clearest, it's your best image. It gives you a little option for some good slow motion. At sunset, I'm still running at 4K at 30 frames a second. It's, it's still good, it's the best quality. Um, at last light, I'm gonna switch it to 15 frames a second. So I'm gonna change from the green to the dark blue. I use dark blue being my dark light. I'm going to have a second camera this year, uh, and it's going to be a little higher on my bow, and it is strictly going to be for capturing slow motion video. Um, what my plan is at sunset, I'm going to be running full HD at 120 frames a second. Uh, the, the 420, uh, or the 240, I should say, is, is too dark, but the 120 still looks good. You can get good slow motion. During the day, though, I'm going to run HD 240 on the second camera that's going to be on my bow. Um, you can slow it down with that 240 frames a second and actually see the arrow in flight even though you can't see the lighted knot very well because of how uh, bright it is. So those are the two cameras I'm going to run. One strictly for slow motion kill shots. The other one just because it's the best quality overall. 